All right, here's the deal. The holidays are coming up. That's probably why you're here. And these things have had a ridiculous amount of impact over the past couple years. It started with the occasional mom that would take her camera out once a year to go to the zoo and take pictures of her kids and her family all the way until what it is today where almost every single person wants to be a content creator and is going out and buying these cameras, buying this expensive equipment. So I figured what better time to create the top 10 gift ideas for photographers, videographers, and overall content creators. Let's get right into it. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button because you have a beautiful face and I want to see it around here more often. Also, make sure you stick around to the end of the video for an extra bonus gift that I can't live without. Let's get into it. Just a quick heads up, everything in the list will be down in the description box below. Make your guys' life easier. Okay, let's get into the first one. Now, we all know how important backpacks are in our everyday life. We take them everywhere. We utilize them so much in our lives. Now, believe it or not, camera bags are actually a little bit different from the normal bags that people would use typically on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, these are specifically designed with certain compartments and certain zippers and pockets to keep our valuables safe, especially if you're a content creator, you start piling and piling up different pieces of equipment that gets lost or broken or whatever it is. So having individualized compartments and a bag to kind of secure it all in place literally is a lifesaver. Now, I have a few camera bags personally, and I would recommend getting them off Amazon. A couple things that I would look for just to make sure a back opening compartment right here with a little bit of padding. I can't tell you how much this is a lifesaver because when you're traveling or carrying a lot of equipment, a lot of that equipment is expensive. And the last thing you want to do is give someone else accessibility to open these zippers. So having a back compartment is great. Also look for some padding back there because a lot of this equipment is really heavy, especially if you're carrying it for hours on end. So having a little bit more support back there is game changing. Biggest differentiator from a regular backpack to these ones is that they have specific compartments designated for different things. And it'll look something like this, right? You have some inserts and that's super crucial for someone with cameras because we carry a lot of different pieces of equipment, whether that's lenses or camera bodies or drones or whatever it is. And being able to separate that stuff, making sure it's not going to hit anything or bang around in there is super important. Usually they're these little foam inserts, a little bit of Velcro. You can move them around. They're interchangeable and that's a lifesaver. A lot of them also come with laptop compartments as well. I would say that's super, super beneficial. As far as camera bags go, that's pretty much what we look for. Optional side holder for water bottles. Really cool, but ultimately something that's going to keep your valuables safe and protected. All right, let's get into the next gift idea. This is an Ulanzi quick release plate, and I cannot tell you the amount of time this thing has saved me. Now, there's nothing that bugs the shit out of us more than having to take different tripods and cameras and sit there and screw them all day and having to change them out and do this and do that, and it just gets super frustrating, okay? It's really frustrating. So, this is where this bad boy comes in. You can literally take this, screw it on there, and it becomes the most versatile piece of equipment that they will absolutely love. Take your top piece and screw it into your camera. All you gotta do from there is take this, click it on top, oh my, and then you're good to go. And the cool thing is if you get more than one, you can just click these buttons, take it off, attach it to another tripod, and just do that for every single piece of equipment. I literally have one on every single tripod on my gimbal. I switch back and forth all day long, and I don't have to sit there and screw in different quick release plates for different cameras and different mounts, and it's just, it seems like something so simple, but trust me, it gets on our nerves more than you know. Okay, let's get into the next one. This is actually another type of clip and quick release plate, but it's not for tripods. It's actually for the camera bag. And I actually only got this about a week ago. Right, oh, we go, we go, go. You take this, you slide it right onto the arm strap of the backpack, you can lock it in place. And so you got this bad boy locked in, you take your camera, you slide it in here, it locks in place, and then you're hands free. I can't tell you how frustrating it is to have to hold your camera in your hand the entire time, or you have to ask somebody to awkwardly hold your camera or put it on the floor. It's just really frustrating. And this solves that. You can just slide this in your backpack, it holds in there, it locks in place, it's super secure. 10 out of 10 recommend. We all have that that moment when we really want to take a photo or a video and the only thing we have on us is our phones right so we take it up we open up that camera app and the most horrible thing that could possibly happen the pop-up from Satan himself you are out of storage there's nothing worse and it makes me want to slam my phone into the concrete over and over and over again all that to say that storage and memory is really important and that's why something like this comes in handy in a creator's life this is a portable hard drive and this is something that is invaluable to us because we we are always dealing with large and lots of files that fill up a lot of space. Now with this, you can get them all kinds of different sizes. I recommend something like a one terabyte and up. That's a good amount of storage, especially for someone that does video, which takes up an obnoxious amount of storage. Think of it like a giant memory card. You know, the ones from the PlayStation one where you have to 
just have to blow on the back and push it all the way in to store any game data at all. And that's what this is, but on steroids, right? It can store a lot of data and a lot of different things on here. Now, the next one is really simple, but it's something that goes a long way. Every creator needs tripods, all right? There's hundreds of different variations and different kinds of tripods, all the way from Gorilla Pods that you can wrap around stuff and put in weird places to regular tripods that just stand on the ground and keep your camera still. These are super important and we need a lot of them, especially if we have some already, an extra one always goes a long way. Now, like I said, there's lots of varieties and different kinds of tripods. I would just say, depending on what they shoot with, make sure the weight capacity can hold whatever it is they use. So for instance, if they shoot mostly with a phone, you don't really have to think much because most tripods will hold the phone. But if they're using something like a DSLR with a big lens, this adds up in weight and something like a flimsy iPhone tripod is not gonna be able to hold this up. So just make sure you do your research, make sure it can hold a good amount of weight and then you'll be good to go. Still on tripods, if there's someone like myself that sits at a desk for long hours out of the day, they might benefit a little bit more from a tripod that's suited for a desk. So some of them have clamps or clasps that go on specifically to desks. And you can maneuver each joint independently to put it in the perfect position that you need it for. It really comes in handy having to do any filming of yourself or maybe some point of view unboxing stuff. The possibilities are really endless when it comes to these kinds of tripods. Obviously, you know the creator better than I do. So use your best judgment and pick the one that you think would benefit the most. All right, moving on to the next one. If there's something that creators really struggle with, it's filming ourselves. And it's not that we don't want to, it's that sometimes we don't always have the necessary tools to be able to do it. That's where something like Pivo comes really in handy. Pivo is actually a self-tracking tripod, which is really, really cool. You can attach it to any tripod. You'll download the app, slide your phone in here, and then from there, you can actually record yourself and the Pivo will follow you wherever you go. It's one of the coolest tools that I use, and every time that I have it out, I get someone asking, what is this thing? All right, on to the next one. If you're looking on getting something a little bit more on the nicer side, you can look into getting some desktop speakers. This is really special because anything that you can do as a content creator to get yourself in the zone or in that flow state is really, really crucial. Those are the times that you get the most done, you're the most productive, you're the most efficient, and speakers are just one of those things that really, really helps encapsulate you in your environment. And good brands I know personally are maybe Logitech, Sanyun, or Kantu. These are really good options. These are available on Amazon too. So do a little bit of research, a little bit of digging. They don't have to be crazy expensive to be good speakers. This next one is something that requires a little bit of work, but when it's done, it really, really stands out. And this is gonna be a charge wall. Over the years of being a content creator, I've collected so many little things, battery, chargers, adapters, having an all-in-one kind of space to be able to put all those things is super, super nice. These mesh panels are gonna be the main component of what you guys are using to build this out. What about this is the versatility, right? There's so many different attachments and handles and baskets that you could put on here to put batteries and chargers and adapters and an all-in-one spot to be able to just make your life more organized. And I think that's one thing that's really crucial in a creator's life. The ones I got are a metal mesh and I really, really like it because I can take things like a magnetic LED light and just attach it straight on there and it makes life so simple. You can get this at a Home Depot, a Lowe's, or even an Amazon. And you can make it personal from yourself by building it out and customizing it. Or you can even use it as kind of a bonding activity. You can give it and build it together. And I think that's really fun. The next one isn't gonna be for everybody, but it is for those people that have a desk set up with monitors. I just got these myself and absolutely love them. These are called monitor stands or monitor risers. And they're really cool because they elevate your monitors just a little bit. And a lot of them have like a phone stand or like some drawers that you can take out and put little stuff in. I actually like them a lot because they create less strain on my neck. It allows the monitor just to come a little bit higher up to eye level and just allows a lot less strain on those back and neck muscles. Just like a lot of other things, they come in different sizes and shapes and materials. So depending on the creator's setup, for instance, I have two monitors behind me. I might want one that's a little bit wider, maybe with some swivel panels, something along the lines of that. So just try to get familiar with what your creator uses most and go based off that. Okay, we're almost done. Home stretch, push through. This is my favorite personal tool of 2022. I use these everywhere. I'm actually using them in this video right now. These are gonna be the mini LED tube lights. These are really, really cool and super versatile. I literally use them on every single shoot that I do. They're rechargeable lights, super durable, waterproof, and they change colors, which I think is super awesome. You can brighten and dim them, which I think is super, super important when creating content. I use them for accent lights a lot in a lot of my videos, but you can also use them for a key or a fill or maybe some extra light during your shoot that you might need. These are the shorter versions, which I personally like because I can travel easier with them, but they also do offer longer versions with a heavier price tag. All right, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I appreciate you. If you have any questions, drop them below. Everything in this video is gonna be in the description box below. It's linked for you. I appreciate you. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.